What's going on, people? This is Tashira Say from Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to CMA Answers. Pretty sure many of you are familiar with what you're seeing on the screen right now. Even more of you should be familiar with this. And you're probably wondering where am I going with this? Well, there's a number of people who own micro MK1s and MK2s, or they own a full size MK1 or maybe a full size MK2, and they want to upgrade to full size MK2 or maybe machine studio. And they actually have someone who's interested in buying that particular machine so they can upgrade. Well, there's a very simple process uh, to get that done. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let me introduce you to this page on the Native Instruments website, notes on selling your Native Instruments product. I'm not going to read through the entire page. I will leave a link down below so you can check it out yourself. Basically, this is going to help you get your product unregistered so you can sell it to the next person and they can re-register it and have zero issues. So, uh, as I said, I'm going to leave you a link down below. You're basically going to look over it and see if you qualify, which pretty much everybody does. Um, you go to here, click this link. And it will take you to the registration page where you will go to secondhand sale next. And you can go down and find machine. Select your platform. Select your OS. And then when you get here, this is where you enter your information that you have registered on your native instruments uh, account. So name, email address, what country you're in and go to next and now request. Now here is where you enter the serial number of your machine software. It's probably a good idea to log in first, then do this process and you can actually just copy and paste the serial number. So let's just say that's it right there. I've actually done this a couple of times because I've sold my MK1 to upgrade to my MK2 and I still have my MK2 even though I have a studio. So don't ask about buying that, at least not anytime soon. <laughs> anyway, here I normally say uh, selling machine or something like that. And I just write something to the effect of hello, I'm interested in selling my MK1 to upgrade to studio and you help me unregister it and uh though so it doesn't have to be exact but something to that effect so they know what they're taking care of and boom 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 and another thing that i highly advise is there is a serial number on your controller as well it's normally on the bottom of it uh get that and put that in there as well so let's say that's the number boom Come down here, hit submit. And what you do is actually initiate a process that only takes about two, maybe three business days, sometimes a lot, a lot quicker. What the native instrument support is going to do is check your account, verify the information that you sent them. Uh, they may email you back and ask for a little bit more information just to make sure it's you and you do that, send it back to them. And basically, once that's all said and done, they will unregister it and send you a confirmation email saying you have you had this product it is now unregistered that makes it very easy for the person who is buying your copy of machine to register it under their name with no issues now if you are that person that is buying machine i highly suggest that you request a copy of the uh, confirmation then you can actually go to the native instruments website contact them and have them confirm that everything has been unregistered. And if everything is good, you will have absolutely no problems registering it under your name. Now, here's something that you may not know. This actually works for standalone Native Instruments products like Contact or Massive or let's say Reactor. Or if you're an idiot like me, you still have Battery 3 and never upgrade it. This is for individual copies. You cannot sell a piece of software out of complete. But if you have an individual copy, as I've had in the past, you can actually get rid of your copy of Massive. Let's say if you wanted to get into Complete or Complete Ultimate, you can do that. Another thing that you cannot do is if you have an EDU or NFR copy, you cannot sell those to uh, anybody else. You can't even unregister them and give them to anybody else. This only works for 
individual copies of machine or any complete product, but not incomplete. If you have a complete bundle, you cannot sell a uh, massive or reactor or something like that out of it. And you can also do this with machine expansions. So just a little insight, but as I said before, I will leave you a link down below to where you can actually go check this page and make sure that you're good to go. And uh, other than that, that is it for this particular video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to computermusicacademy.com. See you next time.